This is the Sunday Gorilla Men's Bible Study. Praise God. I'm Brother Thomas Lee Hans III. I'm smiling because glory. We are in the 28th chapter of the book of Acts. It was a long book. Oh, we got blessed. We're in the final chapter of the book of Acts. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. This is food, y'all. We gotta eat. We gotta eat. Read along. Read along, saints. Last chapter. Amen. Chapter 28, verse 1. Now, when they had escaped, they found out that the island was called Malta. I just want to pause there. That was verse 1. Remember, in verse, in, in chapter 27, that Paul and the prisoners were on a ship headed to Is, um, Italy and they, to see Caesar, and they crashed. So they were shipwrecked. Um, some could swim. Some were on boards. And they, and they came on land, and we see it was called Malta. Verse 2, And the natives showed us unusual kindness, for they kindled a fire and, and made us all welcome because of the rain that was falling and because of the cold. But when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, a viper came out because of the heat and fastened to his hands. Verse 4, So when the natives saw the creature hanging from his hand, they said to one another, No doubt this man is a murderer whom, though he has escaped the sea, yet just, justice does not allow him to live. Ooh. Verse 5. But he shook off the creature into the fire and suffered no harm. So we see here that you know they land on the, on the shore, building a, a, the natives' favor, favor of God immediately. That's how that favor of God Words. Everywhere you go, he's already there making a way for you. So the favor of God's there. They're getting warm by the fire. A snake comes out, bites a viper. Not just a snake, a viper, most poisonous snake. Bites um, Paul on the hand. And the uh, inhabitants of the land, right? The natives said, oh, this man, they call him a murderer, right? He escaped the sea, but he, he can't escape his justice, what they're saying. But it was just to, to the glory of God. Because... Uh, Paul shakes it off with no harm. Once again, favor of God, the power of God. Amen. Verse, tw verse 6. However, they expecting that he would swell up and suddenly fall down dead. But after they looked for a long time and saw no harm come to him, they changed their minds and said that he was a god. In that region, there was an estate of a leading citizen of the island whose name was Publius who received us and entertained us courteously for three days. And it happened that the father of Publius lay sick of a fever in dysenteria. Paul went into him and prayed and laid hands on him and healed him. Verse 9. So when this was done, the rest of those on the island who had disease also came and were healed. And they also honored us in many ways. And they... And when we departed, they provided such things as were necessary. Verse 11. After three months, we sailed in Alexandria's ship, whose figurehead was the twin brothers, which had withered, which had wintered at the island. Verse 12. In the landing at Syracuse, we stayed there three days. From there, we encircled around and reached Rigium. And after one day, the south wind blew. And the next day, we came to Petulia, Potuli, verse 14. And when we found brethren and were invited to stay with them seven days, and so we went toward Rome, verse 15. And from there, when the brethren heard about us, they came to meet us as far as a pie forum and three inns. When Paul saw them, he thanked God and took courage, verse 16. Now when we came to Rome, the centurions delivered the prisoners to the captains of the guard. But Paul was permitted to dwell by himself with the soldiers who guarded him. Verse 17. And it came to pass, after three days, Paul called the leaders of the Jews together. So when they had come together, he said to them, Men and brethren, though I have done nothing against our people or the customs of our fathers, yet I was delivered as a prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans. Who, when they had examined me, wanted to let me go, because there was no cause for putting me to death. But when the Jews spoke against it, I was compelled to appeal to Caesar. 
I, I was compelled to compare. Uh, I was compelled to appeal to Caesar. Not that I had anything which to accuse my nation. Verse twenty. For this reason, therefore, I have called for you, to you, and to speak with you, because for the hope of Israel I am bound with these chains. Verse twenty one. Then they said to him, We neither receive letters from Judea concerning you, nor have any of the brethren who came reported or spoken any evil of you. But we desire to hear from you what you think. For concerning this sect, we know that it is spoken against everywhere. So when they had appointed him a day, many came to him at his lodging, to whom he explained and solemnly testified of the kingdom of God, persuading them concerning Jesus both the law of Moses and the prophets from, not, from morning till evening. And some were persuaded by the things which were spoken, and some dis, disbelieved. So when they did not agree among themselves, they departed after Paul had said one word. The Holy Spirit spoke rightly through Isaiah the prophet to our fathers, saying, verse 26, Go to this people and say, Hearing you will hear, and shall not understand, and seeing you will see, and not perceive. Verse 27. For the hearts of this people have grown dull, their ears are hard of hearing, their eyes have closed, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, lest they should understand with their hearts, and turn, so that I should heal them. Verse 28. Therefore, let it be known to you that the salvation of God has been sent to the Gentiles, and they will hear it. Verse 29. And when he had said these things, the Jews departed and had great dispute among themselves. Then Paul dwelt two whole years in his own rented house and received all who came to him. Verse 31. Preaching the kingdom of God and teaching the things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ. And all, with all confidence... No one forbidding him. Amen. 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 And that concludes the 28th chapter, the final chapter in the book of Acts. To God be the glory. Amen.